Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and it happened once again. Another speed character got their wings. In this case, Yelena Belova. So we're testing her out with her newest uh, transcended ability at tier two, of course, level 70, all that good stuff. To see if she can keep up with this, the new, the, the new emergent speed meta, the Corvuses and the Falcons of today. Now it's a pretty weird uh, run that I'm doing right now. Did my obelisk like not proc at all? My CTP didn't proc at all. Okay, true. I'm using a CTP of energy that I had equipped on her from, you know, a year ago. So I thought it'd be better, more interesting to see what she can do as a, with just her raw damage. So that's why we have no leadership. We're actually using her leadership, which is just like increased all speed, which is nothing, obviously. Um, oh, she got snared. Dang, I thought the co-op skill took care of that. That was a little disappointing. Now, one problem I have noticed. So we're basically, we're not using any leadership. And then we're just using these two ignore dodge strikers to give us an extra 40% ignore dodge. Now, she does have 40% uh, ignore dodge on her CTP of energy. And then she has 10% from her abilities because she's an agent. So she actually has a base 50% ignore dodge, which is really, really nice. But uh, what I've noticed is that she gets guard broken and it interrupts her skills like really badly. So you got to play it pretty carefully. Uh, you got to play it pretty carefully. That was good. That was really good. Uh, it's a bit tricky. Like she doesn't have super armor. So, so null interrupts her very easily she might she might struggle against mephisto because of that i think she only is going to get uh super armor when she pops her awakening the really interesting thing about her awakening is that it's a heal so a rare character to see with uh, a heal that's why i kind of bait out his attack first before i go in because i want to see if he'll like i want him to sort of guard break me or try to guard break me or whatever there he just stripped all my buffs Okay, so just a little bit too slow to um, to cancel into the next phase. Okay. But yeah, very, very good damage on the one. Wow, her one has crazy damage. I wonder if you'd almost rather proc on one. That was nuts. That was nuts. So damage on one. Now we're using the black uniform. Keep that in mind for Yelena specifically. I'll sort of give you guys a reminder because it's a year old now. The, the white uniforms for Black Widow and Yelena are for PvP, and the black uniforms are for PvE. So that is why we are using the black one. Yeah. See, when you don't get guard broken. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I have to sacrifice Black Widow here, otherwise Yelena would have died. But um, the standard rotation is three, delayed cancel, five, delayed cancel, four. So this is pretty good. We're going to compare her to Corvus, who recently got his awakening and is also a speed type. I'm just going to do this to see if that damage is any good. It's not bad. Where is Thor? <laughs> all my skills are on cooldown now. Okay, this is a pretty awkward finish here because all my skills are on cooldown at the moment. But yeah, the other problem is she gets guard broken. I'm not going to finish this. She gets guard broken by the tornadoes as well. Yeah, her damage is, is pretty inconsistent. It, it's, it's kind of inconsistent. Okay, so that was her raw, that was basically her raw damage with a CTP of energy because there's no leadership, there's no buffs on the strikers as far as increased damage, and the team up bonuses that she gets between herself and Yel uh, herself and Black Widow and Black Widow and Winter Soldier are just going to give her dodge, max HP, and crit rate. So she finishes that with a minute 20 left, a minute 20 or a minute 15 left. I'm not terribly impressed with that if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Let me just sub this out and see... This might be pretty crazy. Well, let's just do the exact same thing here. I think he needs ignore dodge more than uh, Yelena does because... Oh, no, actually, he doesn't need it. Never mind. He has it on his fifth skill. But let me just see this here. Let's just see this here. Okay, I got interrupted. Nice. Got interrupted and then knocked back. Okay, really good start, Alex. 
pop the tier three. And you know, you think awakening characters would have an advantage because and she has a CTP of energy, right? Oh, I should have done four, my bad. Okay, nice, we dodged that, very nice. Pop the tier three. Oh, there's no way, bud. Wow. Yelena's getting completely outclassed. Falcon's just dropping bombs, dog. Yeah, wow. Now we're gonna miss a bunch of damage here. Oh, but the fifth skill keeps going. Look at that. Just wanna build up the... The tier three. No worries. I think this is going to be way faster. We'll also do a comparison, but um, with Corvus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bud. He's getting ripped. He's getting ripped, bud. And Falcon does not have a CTP of energy, so he's not synergizing and stacking that chain hit. He's got less ignore dodge, yada, yada, yada. Falcon also, like, moves around the map. It's pretty wild. Let's go. Where's that proc? Where's that proc? Oh my gosh. All that damage, no proc. <laughs> Bruh, this would have been way faster if my proc hadn't like gone completely MIA for like five full seconds. Yeah, he's crushing Yelena right now, eh? Hmm, Yelena is not looking too spicy at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. And the difficult thing for for female speed types as well is type uh, is uh, requirements for world boss legend. They're just not required until much much later. And if she can't keep up at this level, how is she going to keep up much much later, right? So I'm gonna cancel everything into five, into six. It's over. Holy cow! Wow! Wow, so he cru so that's raw damage, no leadership, just two ignore dodge strikers, and no CTP. Let me just compare the builds for you really quickly here, but he's at least a minute and 10 to a minute and 20 faster than she is. So he's like twice as fast, essentially. He's essentially twice as fast. His build, he's got 44,000 physical attack. She's got 42. She's got a CTP of energy with a 200 proc. He's got a crit damage 180 proc, so... You know, it's a pretty big jump up to an energy, especially with all that, you know, 40% uh, ignore dodge. She's got a mythic uniform. He's got a mythic uniform. He's got these four and five star Urus. She's got a bunch of five star Uru. Yelena, honey, what's going on? I'm not too sure if this is worth investing in, guys. Red Room Reunion just doesn't like the heal is nice, but maybe maybe this is a PVP upgrade. I mean, it's a bit suspicious that they added the heal to her first skill. I feel like that was sort of a nudge in the direction of PvP because they sort of knew, guys, she's not going to uh, be good for PvE. Now, I'm sort of getting ahead of myself here. I don't I don't mean to throw Yelena under the bus, uh, so to speak, but she does have the flexibility of being you know, usable for PvE and PvP and as both a hero and a villain. Because if you take off your uniform, she's a villain. Not as good without her uniforms, okay? Like, it's a pretty it's a pretty rough base model, but she's functional, right? So, it, for what it's worth, I just want to point that out. But let me just do one more comparison here. Um, or let me just do one more run and see. Maybe she just needs the stats more than other characters? I don't know. The thing is, like I was saying, you can't use her. You can use her as a hero against Mephisto, but then it locks her out because you need to use males. And then it's going to lock her out here. Oh, no, it's not going to lock her out. You can use her as a human. But it's going to lock her out here because you need to use combats. And then you can only use her again on 30 where it's superhero female. But I tried her on 30 and it's not even close. Like, she, she's not even close. And that's with Valkyrie's buff. On the flip side for Null, she gets locked out after stage 9 because she can't do that. She can then do 15 to 19. But then she's going to get locked out again because it's male again. Until 25. So... Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, char female characters for World Boss Legend have to be very, very good. Uh, and then even when they are very, very good, they're competing with Rogue, Sharon Rogers, Moonstone, 
Like, there's a lot of really good female characters for World Boss Legend right now. Not sure Yelena. We, we have to wait and see, but I'm not sure if Yelena uh, in, in testing for ABX is going to have um, any, you know, fight against Luna. Because Luna's been dominating speed hero and speed female hero for two years now? Three years? Four years? Long time. So, yeah, I'm a little bit um, perplexed. Where am I supposed to use Yelena, right? Where... Where am I supposed to use you? Let me, let's do one more showcase here on stage 14 of Mephisto, and we'll see what she can do with a similar uh, build to what we gave Falcon here uh, with Bucky. We'll give her the leadership, and we'll see what's up. All right, even though she has the heal on her awakening, I'm bringing along Venom just because if she takes too much damage and she's out, then it's just not worth uh, you know going through and testing it here. Super duper duper delayed proc there from her energy ctp but that's okay we get a nice proc there pile on with the one maybe i'll test her out in pvp I, I generally like speed types for pvp so if she doesn't end up having much value for pve then i know that i can still test her for pvp no proc there her first skill hits really hard I'm almost tempted to do a test. I might do some testing off stream to see if it's better to do three cancel, five cancel, one. You know what? I'll try it in this video. We'll try it in this video. Pop. Okay, there we go. Awakening skill. Got him down to the next phase. We're going to try this right now. We're going to do three, five. Oh, I procced on five. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. We're going to back away from him now because he's going to do the tornado. After these punches, there's the tornado. All right, let's try to... No, you know what? Sorry, we're going to hold up. We need to wait four seconds here. Ow. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe Mephisto is where she really... Where she can really shine you gotta shine on you boy the shining and dr sleep are both really good movies you guys should check those out alex recommends oh i should have waited for the awakening ah we procced on five Trying to save the awakening now. I keep procking on five, dude. I should cancel three sooner. There we go. Yeah. She's got a bit of a tight rotation in the sense that if you don't cancel three fast enough, you end up procking on three. So you really want to cancel three um, early and often. Yeah, this damage just. Oh weird the damage for th that skill is all over the place let's try one well that's not bad at all she took a big hit there yikes oh four bars is not bad at all dude four bars is not bad at all But it seems like her awakening skill is such a long animation. It's such a long animation and the damage is just spread out. Here on it. Uh, no proc, wow. Still no proc, okay. Gonna go ahead and sacrifice him here. Not the best run. Kind of awkward here at the end. The procs have been pretty inconsistent. She's fast. I will say this: we we do talk about movement speed a lot against Mephisto because it's important. She's fast, for sure. You can pretty much instant cancel three. I don't know why I'm not instant canceling it more often. So, yeah, not bad. That's with the leadership. 
not bad. She, she, she does stage 14 of Mephisto about as fast as she did stage 9 of Null if I just move over and use Winter Soldier's leadership versus not using his leadership. So that's pretty good to jump up five stages. But at the same time, the fact that Falcon did that without a CTP of energy a minute and change faster, I really want to see what he can do now with a CTP of energy because this dude is just on fire. And I think really... You know, Yelena was already facing an uphill battle PvE wise because she was coming back to the game with her transcendence one year later. And that's always tough, right? The meta from last year to this year has changed a lot. So many dope characters have come out and Pierce, you know, has just amplified everybody's damage. But, you know, it's not like it's doing anything special for Yelena that it's not doing to anybody else. So that sort of mood doesn't matter. Pierce or not doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. And then on top of that, on top of, of being a year late, she's contending in this update with some pretty amazing speed characters. And then you also have Corvus from last update who is amazing as well. So I am not sold on Yelena at the moment as a good option, as a good candidate for Transcendence if you're looking for somebody who's going to give you a high return on your investment. I will try her out in PvP if she impresses me enough in PvP. Maybe we'll return to this conversation and I'll make a video about it highlighting that because having a, you know, having somebody that can do a seven or an eight out of 10 in PVE and then also do an eight or nine out of 10 in PVP, especially if I can keep the build the same, that's, that's pretty special, right? But we have to wait and see if that's the case. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of transcended Yelena. Is she a year too late or can she make it work? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.